Hello everyone. Today I will be going to teach you about dynamic routing in Cisco Packet Tracer. So let's start now. First of all, what is dynamic routing? Here dynamic routing means the packet data unit or we can see the message which is automatically transferred to destination address to RIP option. So here RIP means routing information protocol. This is the safer option because rather than manually assigning path hope to the network, we can send the packet message to this dynamic routing option. Let's start. First of all, we will take two PCs in each network. I'm taking three networks. I've taken it six pieces, two for each network. And we connect uh, one switch to each network. And we connect the two pieces to switch with copper straight through wire. I have done. Now we will connect three routers, one for each. The router we should always can use should be PD router. I have taken three routers in each network. Now connect the router with the switch, the same copper straight to wire. Remember, you are connecting the switch to the router with fast Ethernet 00, 00 port in router. After doing this, uh, I need to tell you something that this part is my network A, I should write here. This is my network A. This is my network B. This is my network C. So these three are my networks, network A, B, and C. All these three networks will have different IP addresses. Okay. Now, now my next step is to assign PC IP addresses to all these PCs. configuration desktop IP configuration keep it as static now we assign IP address 168.10.1 suppose I'm giving it 10.1 because this is a class C address the subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0 here you see after doing this, we will need to put here default gateway. Default gateway should be similar in all this network. For example, if I put here 168.10.10, so this 10.10 .10 will be similar in this PC4, not in this network B. It will be different. So I'm keeping here default gateway 10.10 .10 in this network A. Closing it. Doing the same step, the second PC of network A. Yeah. 
n dot two. Same default gateway because network A has the default gateway 10.10. .10. We have kept it as 10.10. .10. Now come to network B. Network B should have different IP address. So make some small changes. We keep 10 to 11. 11.1. That was 10.1, 10 11.1. .1, 11 .1. Vault gateway will also be different now. It was 11 10.10. .10. Now we will keep here as 11.10. Only .10. small changes are being done. Eleven dot two. Eleven dot ten. Now come to network C. Now we we can make twelve. Twelve dot one. Twelve dot ten. Twelve dot two. Twelve dot ten. After assigning IP, this is in all PC. So uh, let me write down this. Default gateway and dot ten eleven dot ten twelve dot ten You should follow the same steps I'm following in my in exam. Okay. Now our next step should be connect this three network using serial DC cable. Connect serial two port the router two with serial two. Now go to router one configuration. Now you will be clicking on two option first it is the fast ethernet zero now look this router is connected with network a so the network a has default gateway 10.10 .10. so we will write here 10.10 .10. and now coming to this serial 2 and serial 2 port serial 2 on now this is another path now we are giving the path so let's make it as 10.0.0.1 enter remember we have taken serial 2 and giving it as 10.0.0.1 you need to remember this IP addresses close and turn it on after running both on, you will see that this um, red triangle will turn into green. Coming to router 2, same doing two steps here. This router is connected with this network B. So coming to fast Ethernet 0. We are coming to fast Ethernet 0 because when we connected switch to router, we used fast, fast Ethernet 0 by 0. Now writing the IP address of this network B, which is default gateway. 11.10 11.10 now serial 2 we have taken serial 2 here because we connected router 1 and router 2 with serial 2 and serial 2 make it on now do 10.0.0.2 because here in router 1 we took 
10.0.0.1 non-router 2 serial 2 10.0.0.2 enter close now we will be connecting router 2 with router 3 only left port is serial 3 connect select the uh, serial 3 and go to serial 3 of router 3 get on 11.1 we have not given this fast ethernet 0 by 0 port in router 3 we will give you can see router 3 is connected to network c default gateway this the default gate of network c is 12.10 Now this is connected with router 2 with serial 3 we have written it as 11.0.1 we will keep it here Two. now the only port left is router 1 and router 3 we will connect this by 3 and remaining one here 2 coming to 3 here give it in giving it name as 12.0.0.1 and here giving its name as 12.0.0.2 we have done let me show you so this path is my 10.0.0 I will have took the common IP because this router one ten dot zero one was there, ten dot two, and this was my path eleven dot zero dot zero dot zero, twelve dot zero dot zero dot zero. This is my common IP addresses. This is my common IP. If you see, only the last digit must have changed. I have here ten dot one, ten dot two, here eleven dot one, eleven dot two. And here 12.1 12.2 but the common ip is 12 10 and 11 remember remember this now we will going to do the rip which is our final step now in each router you need to follow this step go to router routing rip routing information protocol and rip this is the important step so be careful now look this router is connected with this network his own network and these two paths 12 path and 10 path so right here so it is connected with 12.0.0 12 path 10 path and its network this so remember we have taken we will be taking the common so here will be 192.168.10. Node 1, node 2, node 10, 0. Because we need to take this common network, common IP. The common IP in this network is 192.168.10. It is in every IP. So we will add it. Because this router is connected with this part, this two, these two paths. Now coming to router 2, RIP. Now see, this router is connected with this IP network B and two paths 10 and 11 right here. And eleven and its own network B, which is one nine two one sixty eight dot eleven dot zero. Remember? Yes. Close it. Coming to router 3, RIP. Now see this router is connected with 2, 12 path, 11 path and network C, common IP, 192.168.12.0. When you type here 12.0 means 0 to 24, every range will be coming inside this IP. So no need to type 1, 2, 10, 12, okay. Now it is connected with router 3's 11 path and 12 path. 
11 12 add it's done now now we will now our final step is click on simulation show all none edit filters and click select dns and icmp close it now make our pdu select this is pdu packet data unit message make it transfer from this pc8 to pc3 make it run Buffer full region, clear event list, delete scenario, see, it happens sometimes, now it will return the message will be turning to the same PC where it was started. See, it's done. 